Hello, welcome to another episode of Festival Fashion TV. I am Elisabeth Reis, an image etiquette and protocol consultant and the founder of Glamour Image. Today's episode is all about menswear. So ladies, tell your husbands, brothers, friends and co-workers to watch this episode. My guest today is Momin Sankara and we will be visiting H&M Men and Hollister. Two of the most frequently asked questions by my male clients are how to buy a suit without breaking the bank and how to transition from a suit and tie into a smart casual and still look sharp. Let's do that now. a suit uh, probably the five tips i would give is number one fit a suit needs to fit properly number two shirts any shirt can look expensive if you iron it properly so iron your shirt three hangers make sure you have good hangers and the shirts are hanged properly and four would be dry cleaning make sure you dry clean your suit and then number five, when you wash your shirts, be careful with the program you choose. Harsh washes will damage the fabric. My name is Momin. Uh, I'm here today with Elizabeth uh, to change a little bit my look. And uh, let's see what she can do to help. Hello. Hello, Momin. How are you? I'm good, and you? Very good, thank you. It's great to see you today. Nice to see you too. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready to, to try to change my look and see how can you help to it. Fantastic, let's do it. So we spoke about suits okay. and you told me that you were looking for a suit that would not break the bank. <laughs> so H&M has great options. So uh, in terms of budget, I think they are very reasonable. And in terms of quality, they also offer a good quality. Okay, so I think we can find a suit here that you will be happy with. Let's see. Okay, when you buy a pattern suit, you are already investing in a more casual look of the suit. Okay, so if you buy a pattern suit, uh, it's a suit that does not uh, go with formal. Okay, if you buy a single color suit is a formal look. Okay, also with the fabrics, uh, if the fabric is shinier, let's say, is already more formal. If it's more matte, is already more casual. Okay, since you want only one suit because you don't wear suit every day, let's choose one that you can wear for all occasions. Okay. I would go with a solid blue, so it will fit any occasion you have, and it's easier for you to dress up or down. I like this shade of blue very much. I think it goes really well with your color and uh, with a white shirt for a more dress up look. If you need to wear a tie, okay, it looks very formal. And then, of course, the pants. But at the same time, if you want to make it look less formal, you remove the tie and you open the button of the shirt and you instantly look less formal. Perfect. So let's try this. Okay, let's try it. Okay. feel amazing in a long time <laughs> <laughs> so just don't forget fitting so we have to adjust the pants we have to adjust the jacket sleeves everything should be adjusted fitting is crucial for looking great in a suit while you were uh, changing i picked up two things just to complement this so for example if you want to dress up this suit if you want to make it more formal you add a vest okay so a vest adds formality to the look and then if you want to dress down the same look what you can do is remove the shirt remove the tie and add a completely different piece 
So this is another piece that would look really good for you and stylish. For example, you can quickly also dress it with the suit. So imagine you just remove the blazer, the shirt and the tie, wear these with the same pants and shoes. Or you can add the blazer. Remember what I told you, layers add formality to the look. So you can look more business with the blazer and less without the blazer and just walking out like this. They have good options here. They have a lot of casual things, but they have also a couple of, of smart looks that I think would look good on you. So for example, in order to have a more smart, casual look, ripped jeans don't work. Ripped jeans are very casual. Yeah. So we would opt for a darker denim mm -hmm. or a, a, even a black denim. I love this black. These shirts, they work really well and they give you a casual look without that t-shirt look. Yeah. When you roll up the sleeves of a shirt, it immediately changes into a more casual look. So it's dressy, but casual. Okay, what about pattern? You like to wear patterns, I noticed that. I, there's actually one here that I think you will like. So it's a very loud pattern, let's say, but because it's in a shirt, it looks dressier than a t-shirt. Look at this one. Wow. And I like this, you know why? You can wear it uh, with the buttons open and with a t-shirt inside. So it's kind of giving you two looks, you know, and you can create your capsule, one shirt, and it can give you two or three or four looks. Okay, if you open, if you wear a white t-shirt, if you open, you wear a darker t-shirt is a different look. So we can play with that a lot. Do you like it? Let's try. So, Momin, tell me, what do you think of the session today? I really enjoy it. Uh, new looks, try new things. Uh, I think maybe I will, I will think to, uh, to change a little bit my look after today's session. I think so. I think you look great. Remember, the most important thing is fit. Fit is crucial to make a look work. When clothes don't fit properly, they throw off body proportion. So take your clothes, go to the tailor and fit them all. Thank you so much, Mommy. It was such a pleasure to have you today. Thank you. Thank you for you for this, uh, all this uh, advice. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's it for this week with menswear. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Share with everyone that you think will benefit. I am Elisabeth Reich from Glamour Image. See you here at your one and only mall of choice, Doha Festival City. Mm -hmm.